All right, today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the practice mode in Eterna. Uh, there's a couple ways you can turn it on and turn it off. The simplest way is to control O at any time. Uh, as soon as you control O, uh, if you go into any song, it will then be in practice mode. Uh, another way you can access it is through the double enter menu or the settings menu in Rebirth. And it is just literally right here. You turn it on or turn it off. So we go into the song and we are faced with gameplay as normal, but we've got this extra little screen looking thing here. Uh, we call this the chord density graph. Um, the, dark, the darker colors on the graph mean uh, higher chord numbers. So basically a light color here is a single tap and a darker color here. This is a jump. That's a hand over here. Quads aren't on this graph, but they're basically just the darkest. Um, the color scales differently for the key modes. Anyways, that wasn't the point. So what we can see on this graph is when I hover it, you get the BPM notes per second time at each of these uh, points. Uh, and the graph, what the line shows and what the number that shows up here is, uh, is about 70% of the notes per second. Actually, I think it's about 80%. It's something like that. Anyways, uh, what you can do with this graph is click around. Uh, if you left click anywhere on the graph, you can just jump around to that point. Um, you can right click anywhere outside the graph and it pauses. And then you can use the scroll wheel to move forward and backwards through the file at a kind of a fine pace. Um, you can also move around while you're uh, stuck in time. Uh, another thing we can do with uh, this graph is if we right click once and then we try to unpause it, uh, we press backspace. It teleports us three seconds before that mark. And it resets our stats. So right now I've got 36.5. And if I reset, it resets all of the in-game stats and things. You can use this to repeatedly do sections, um, try to measure your accuracy for them, etc. Whatever you want to think of. Uh, there's no way to really fail in practice mode. Uh, but another interesting thing is if you don't like pressing backspace and you want to pr practice a particular section of a chart, uh, you right click a second time anywhere. And now you got this box. And what the box is, I call it a loop region, and that is literally what it is. So if I, I'm going to set a smaller one. Uh, if you right, the side you right click on after you've got a loop region uh, would, would, uh, the closest side of the loop region when you right click is the side that moves. So once your time reaches the end of the loop region, uh, the song ends after about three to five seconds and resets back to the beginning of the loop region. And uh, backspace still acts as a way to jump to the beginning immediately. And you can still pause and unpause. Um, another thing that you can do here is if you don't like this loop region or anything like that, uh, you can also double right click anywhere and it'll reset back to just the blue line, which, uh, which I actually, this is called a bookmark. Um, also, another thing is you don't have to use the right-click feature here to uh, actually set the bookmarks or loop regions. Uh, you can use Insert Coin, which I believe by default is set to F1. Uh, so if I press F1 now, it would set the other end of the loop region to where I'm currently at in the chart. Um, and if, since I'm paused and I want to keep going down, it would actually keep doing this for us on the uh, graph. So, if I want to press backspace, I will reset us back to the beginning here. And that's, uh, I believe that's about it for practice mode. Um, in Rebirth, everything here looks exactly the same, just a bit, bit of a different font, maybe a different shape to the graph. Um, if you're ever in the business of wanting to move the practice, um, the practice mode graph for some reason, you can turn on practice mode and customize gameplay, uh, and then you can move the graph there. Uh, here we have it set to Z, so we just press Z and move it around. Um, click dragging the graph is probably not a great idea because of the, uh, the fact that the graph itself already has mouse functionality. But that's about it. Thanks for watching.